Hello, my name is Vishal Panwani and I'm the CEO of Sophia. We're based in Boston, Massachusetts. November 9th, 1989, where was I? I was three years old, so I was very likely playing Nintendo, old school Nintendo. As a kid, I wanted to become an actor. And that's still in the cards for a couple of years uh, away, a few years away. Uh, right now I'm walking the doctor and CEO path for a little while. We're breaking down lots of walls in digital education, from social collaborative learning to data-driven learning. I don't think it's a surprise to anybody that schools are having a hard time connecting teachers with students, students with students, researchers with each other, all sorts of different connections are, are difficult now. So we built a natural way to connect again, uh, to facilitate all of these sort of serendipitous, organic face-to-face -face moments without any links and any downloads. It's a virtual world where you literally just have to walk up to people you know people you work with or classmates, and you can immediately see and hear them and have conversations. The concept behind what we're doing is really just connecting people, right, in places that we know for nostalgia because nobody's traveling nowadays, or in places that we don't know because we're exploring. But ultimately, it's about connecting people uh, who go to school together or who work together on a team in a startup or in a company. Uh, who do research together, maybe in a hospital or a school or an institution, or people who grew up together. Society benefits from our work because we help students and teachers come together to collaborate and teach and learn seamlessly. We help startups and teams and companies and all sorts of different groups of people uh, come together for discussions and problem solving and just general socializing. And we integrate all sorts of services from the real world so that things are seamless and, and all in one place. When Sophia's everywhere, everywhere on the planet, we'll be able to break down the walls of remote work. We'll be able to take us from where we are now in sort of COVID shutdown time into really what will be the future of remote work and the future of work places. Questions remain unanswered. Well, I mean, we'd love to partner with a university to do social and education research in here. There's so many questions we could answer.